world. We are starting today in the kitchen because we're jumping right in. Today we are making a snack mix called sea nuts. And I stumbled across this recipe because I was looking for something to do with sardines. I feel like little fishes in a can, namely sardines and anchovies, are having a bit of a moment right now. They are a cheap, sustainable source of protein and lots of different cultures have recipes to use sardines. I can't remember that I have eaten them before, but I've definitely not prepared them in my own kitchen. So the sea nuts recipe comes from the Oaxacan region of Mexico. So I'm expecting this to be a very flavorful dish. I've got my oven preheating right now. So let's just go ahead and uh, free these bad boys and put it all together. So this recipe I found on Chow and it makes 15 servings and I live with my husband alone and I'm not confident that this is gonna be so good that I'm gonna eat 15 servings. So I'm gonna kind of MacGyver this to like half or quarter it. But the first thing is it calls for two cans of sardines chopped, drained and chopped. So, ta-da. Here are sardines. They are fillets in a can. It says they're boneless, but I can already see some little bones. I think that bones in fish this small are actually okay to eat, so we'll pick out any big ones, but I'm not gonna stress too hard about it. How do I get these out? I'm having spam flashbacks. I feel like I'm just, uh, there's juice in there though still. I don't wanna just turn it upside down, let's see. Okay, well, it shouldn't be hard to chop these. They're very flaky. And I think I'm gonna start with just half the can. So we'll be quartering this recipe. Boom, chopped sardines. I'm gonna put them into my bowl over here. Lexi, as always, loitering because there is a meat product out in the kitchen. Okay, this particular recipe calls for 20 unpeeled garlic cloves and I'm quartering this, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in five. I have six here, so I guess we'll just throw in six for good measure. Feels counterintuitive not to peel them, but I'm just gonna throw them in there. Also calls for two pounds of peanuts. This is one pound, so I'm going to use half of this bag. This calls for six tablespoons of peanut oil. I don't have peanut oil, so we're just gonna use, we're just gonna go crazy and use vegetable oil. So the MacGyvering of this recipe continues because it calls for four crushed Arbol chilies. I do not have Arbol chilies. I don't know what they look like. So I'm just gonna toss in some crushed red pepper. I'm just gonna go like that, I guess. And give it a mix till evenly coated. And now we are to transfer this to an oven proof whatever. Here's a Pyrex. Okay, so our sea nuts are in the oven. I'm gonna give them a quick stir so that they cook evenly. In the meantime, I have half a tin of sardines to use up. So, Alton Brown has a recipe for a sardine avocado toast. You know I love me some avocado toast. So we're going to use these up and I'm gonna make that for lunch and we'll give it a try too. Okay, Monsieur Alton Brown says to put these in a bowl, chop them up a little bit. Mix in a tablespoon of sherry wine vinegar. I have red wine vinegar, so that's what we're gonna do. 
This recipe also calls for fresh parsley. I have parsley that was once fresh that I dried. So I'm just gonna crumble that in. A little lemon zest. I just, ooh, there's my toast. I just grated some of the sticker into here. So that'll be good. And black pepper. Give that a mix. And he says to let it sit and kind of marinate for a little bit. So we will do that. I got some toast. I got an avocado. He says to use the sardine oil to put on the toast. I ain't got that. My sardines were in water, so I'm just gonna use some butter. That's my jam. All right, and we're gonna put some of our sardine mixture in, uh, or on top rather. I added a little bit of olive oil to this because the recipe called for sardines that had been marinating in olive oil, so thought it looked a little dry. And we are gonna to top it with a little bit of lemon juice. Boom, yes. And we're gonna put this on a plate because I would never eat it straight off the cutting board. Here are our sea nuts. They are not quite done yet. They're still like sizzling a little bit. Toss these halfway through. So now we're going to very carefully drop them into our bowl. We're going to not burn ourselves. Hooray! There we are. Now we are, uh, recipe calls for four tablespoons of sugar. I'm gonna do one-ish. I believe it calls for the same amount of kosher salt, so we're just gonna go for it. And the piece la resistance, lime zest. I had a friend one time who was cooking a recipe and she was not a well-seasoned cook and it called for lemon zest and she went to the grocery store looking for it and had to ask somebody where in the grocery store she could find lemon zest. Awesome. Okay, we're back together sharing a meal once again. I have sea nuts here, they are still warm and then the Alton Brown sardine avocado toast and this killed my cane so this is this is all, all from one sardine tin. Okay, what to do first? What to do first? I think I'm gonna go for the toast because it is noon and I haven't had anything except for a breakfast bar today. I'm hungry. Here we go. Mm. So I should have tasted the sardines plain so I had a baseline. I didn't do that. But my point is they are not fishy and I don't think it's just because of this preparation. They definitely give some salt, some brininess to it, um, but not fishy and they don't smell fishy either. Hmm. You can really taste the lemon zest and it's a different taste distinctive from the actual lemon juice Avocado is such a great add to so many different kinds of toasts because it gives you that level of creaminess. This is really bright. It's got a little bit of that briny, natural, proteiny taste without being fishy. This would be a great, this would be a great start to any day, but it actually would. This is yummy. And I can see little bits of the bones, but I don't feel them in my mouth at all. They are so fine and so soft. They just kind of get, you know, 
masticated. Masticated? Masticated. Masticated. In the mouth and they just kind of disappear. So no worries there. All right, let's try the sea nuts. They're supposed to be the star of the show, but right now I am digging on this. I would make this again, no doubt. Come here, sea nuts. So I'm still concerned about the garlic not being peeled. Like, I think I should have peeled it because I love roasted garlic, but you gotta get through this, but all right. So in this dish, the sardines you could see when I open the can break apart really easily and you chop them up before you put them in. The sardines in this one, it's not hunks of them. They just kind of coat the peanuts. So you might not even know that there are sardines in this. This is a good party mix. I would probably actually put a little bit more salt and sugar in this every once in a while you get a hit of that sugar and it's really nice to kind of level it out. A little bit more salt. Okay, let me, I don't know what to do with this. Like I gotta have to peel it and get my fingers all oily. My fingers? No, y'all, if you're gonna make this, just peel the garlic. Like what is this nonsense? I think this could use more lime too. Like basically more of everything from the flavor standpoint because peanuts you know everybody knows what a peanut tastes like it's kind of bland and it suits itself to be highly seasoned i would do more lime zest maybe even some juice i might squeeze some lime juice in here and mix it up i would do more of the crushed red pepper just to bring a little bit more heat out you know experiment with this one it's good i think it's you know if you bust this out at a party i think it's kind of a talking point, conversation piece, if you will. And it's really good warm. I just think it could be kicked up one more notch, but sardines and I, we had a moment today and it was lovely. I recommend these. I'm gonna start working these into my, you know, pantry staple list so that I always have some on hand because there's just so much that you can do with them. I definitely want to throw uh, some sardines in some pasta with some capers and lemon juice. I think that would be really good. Their shelf life is awesome. So if you haven't tried sardines, become a part of the moment. Am I making this up that sardines are having a moment? I'm seeing it. Sardines are having a moment. Become a part of the moment. Try some sea nuts. Definitely try some avocado toast. That was supposed to be a co-star of this video and it became the star. Definitely my favorite. So if you like this video, you like watching me try things that are a little bit different in the kitchen, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you see what I get into next. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for this one. Peace. Lexi, would you like a little bit of sardine? Good girl. She likes it.